Infusia VP7S training video. This product is for veterinary use only in the United States. The purpose of this video is to provide training on the use of the Infusia VP7S volumetric infusion pump. Please refer to the Infusia VP7S instructions for use for a complete list of instructions, warnings, and precautions associated with the use of this product. Please ensure that there is no visible damage to the Invusia VP7S device before every use. Please also ensure that the Infusia VP7S device is charged for at least eight hours before first use. Front view of the device. Let's familiarize ourselves with the front of the pump. At the top, you will see the handle. The area of the pump with the screen and the keys is referred to as the front panel. The area to the right is the pump door. On the pump door, you will observe the metallic lever. Back view of the device. On the back of the pump, the pole clamp is used to secure the pump to an IV pole or a cage. There is also a drop sensor connection socket, which allows you to connect the drop sensor to the back of the pump. There is also an AC power inlet, which you can use to connect the device to AC power. Front panel of the device. Let's familiarize ourselves with the front panel. On the top left, there is an alarm indicator which lights up when the pump is alarming. The AC power indicator lights up if the pump is connected to AC power. The bolus indicator shows when the pump is delivering a bolus mode. You can use the bolus purge button to deliver a bolus to the patient or purge the infusion set. The button under the bolus purge button and above the OK button is a multi-purpose button called switch that you can use to switch modes, silence alarms. The OK button is used to confirm a setting on the pump or to acknowledge and clear the alarm. The button to the bottom middle section that has the symbol of a lock is used to lock and unlock the keyboard and is also a keyboard unlock indicator. On the top right, there is an on off button the MOD button is used to recall the menu on the screen as a return button and to confirm the mode. The increment decrement buttons are used to navigate the menu by moving up and down the screen. The start pause button is used to start the pump from a standstill position and also to pause the running pump. Here are the buttons or keys on the pump. On off, increase decrease, switch button to change infusion mode or silence alarm, OK button to accept the setting, go to the next field, clear an alarm and lock and unlock the device, start pause the device, and bolus and purge button. Here are the light indicators on the pump. An alarm indicator, main power, bolus, KVO indicator, rate mode indicator, time mode, volume mode, and an unlock indicator. Installation of the device. Use the pole clamp on the back of the device to attach the pump to an IV pole or to a cage. Plug the power cord into the AC power inlet and connect the drop sensor by plugging the sensor cable into the drop sensor connection socket in the back of the device. Installation of the infusion set. First, close the roller clamp. Then, Open the door by pulling the door lever upwards. Open the anti-free flow clamp by pushing its head all the way to the left. This is seen in number one in the image showing the anti-free flow clamp. Guide the set tubing from the top to the bottom through the upper slot indicated by the letter A, through the air sensor slot indicated by the letter B, through the peristaltic finger slots indicated by C in the image, and finally, through the lower slot indicated by letter D on the image. Then check that the tubing set is straight along the entire path and correctly secured in the clamp and the slots. Hold the pump door lever and push the door until it is firmly closed. Push the door lever downwards. Then open the roller clamp. At this point, your infusion set installation is complete. Let's now see how you can switch the pump on and off. To turn the pump on, press and hold the on-off key until the display lights up. To turn the pump off, 
Press and hold the on off key until the display counts down three, two, one, and turns off. Purge function. You can use the purge function to drive the air out of the infusion set. The purge function can be used in any mode. To start the purge function, double click the bolus key and keep the button pressed. To stop the purge function, simply release the bolus key. When the purge function is on, the word purge blinks in the middle of the screen. Let's discuss mode selection. First, please note the infusion must be paused for mode selection to be available. You cannot change a mode on this device when an infusion is running. To change mode, follow the following steps. First, press the menu button. Next, when the mode function is highlighted on the screen, press the OK key. Use the up and down buttons to move up and down to choose the desired mode. Press the OK button to confirm the mode. There are five infusion modes available on the device. Rate mode, time mode, volume mode, dose mode, and drug mode. The drug mode comes with a pre-populated set of drugs. We do not recommend using this mode for veterinary use as this drug library is rigid and cannot be configured for different dose rates. Setting up rate mode. For the rate mode to work, the drop sensor must be clamped on the drip chamber. The user can set the flow rate and VTBI parameters in rate mode. The flow rate is available in two units, milliliters per hour and drops per minute. To set up the rate mode, follow these steps. First, within the mode menu, select rate mode. Press the MOD button to enter the rate mode menu. Press the OK button to enable the cursor position to switch parameters. Use the up and down arrow buttons to adjust the parameter value, such as flow rate. Press the OK button to confirm the flow rate. VTBI will start blinking on the screen. Set the volume to be infused in ML using the up and down arrow button. Press OK to go to the next parameter. To change the IV set value, press the switch button, then set the value using the up and down arrow buttons. Press the start pause button to start the infusion. Infusion will start blinking on the screen. Setting up time mode. For the time mode to work, the drop sensor must be clamped on the drip chamber. The user can set the infusion duration and VTI parameters in time mode. The flow rate is determined by time and VTBI settings. To set up the time mode, follow these steps. Set the volume to be infused value in milliliters. Press OK to go to the next parameter. Set the time value in hours or minutes. Press OK to go to the next parameter. Press Start Pause button to start the infusion. The word infusing will blink on the screen once the pump starts infusing. Setting up volume mode. For the volume mode to work, the drop sensor must not be clamped on the drip chamber. The user can set the rate, VTBI, and flow accuracy parameters in volume mode. To set up the volume mode, follow these steps. Set the flow rate value in mLs per hour. If you need to change the flow rate units to drops per minute, press the switch button. Press OK to go to the next parameter. Set the volume to be infused value in mLs. Press OK to go to the next parameter. To change the flow accuracy value, press the switch button and then set the desired flow accuracy value. Press start pause button to start the infusion. The word infusing will blink on the screen once the pump starts infusing. Setting up dose mode. For the dose mode to work, the drop sensor must be clamped on the drip chamber. The user can set the dose, dose unit, patient weight, drug volume, volume, and VTBI parameters in dose mode. To set up dose mode, follow these steps. First, set the dose value. Press OK to go to the next parameter. Set the dose unit. Press OK to go to the next parameter. Set the weight value in kilograms. Press OK to go to the next parameter. 
set the drug volume value. The drug volume is the mass of the drug to be dissolved in the solution in the infusion container, bag, or bottle. Press OK to go to the next parameter. Set the solution volume value. The solution volume is the total volume of the drug solution in the infusion container. Press Start Pause button to go to VTBI. Set the volume to be infused value in milliliters. Press the Start Pause button to start the infusion. The word infusing will blink on the screen once the pump starts infusing. Bolus function. To set up and program a bolus dose, press both the MOD button and the bolus button simultaneously. Then set up the bolus flow rate value in mLs per hour. Then press the OK button to select the target bolus volume in mLs. Set the target bolus volume to be infused in mLs. Then press the start pause button to start the bolus. You can also deliver a bolus dose while running an infusion. To do this, press the bolus button once and release. Then press the bolus button again immediately and hold it continuously to administer a bolus dose. When done, simply release the bolus button to stop the bolus. Keep vein open function. The KVO function aims to keep the vein open. When the infused volume reaches the target volume during infusion, the setting flow rate automatically switches to KVO rate. The KVO rate on the pump is set up at 1 ml per hour for flow rates less than or equal to 10 ml per hour, and it is set to 3 ml per hour for flow rates greater than 10 ml per hour. When the target volume is reached, the pump displays complete on the screen and the KVO indicator light starts blinking. To clear the alarm when the KVO infusion is complete, press the OK button to mute the alarm and the switch button to clear the alarm. This brings us to the end of the video training for the Infusia VP7S infusion pump. As a reminder, please refer to the Infusia VP7S instructions for use for a complete list of warnings and precautions associated with the use of this product.